Okay, so this is a really touchy subject, but this has been a huge mystery to a lot of men for a long time, and I know this is the type of stuff that women don't want to hear, but all I'm offering is the truth. So don't get mad at me for calling out female nature, okay? So I've been with a pretty good amount of women in my lifetime. Uh, not to brag or anything, but it takes this kind of life experience to expose the truth. And one thing I discovered in life is all women are the same. They all want the same stuff in bed. Even though they will never admit it in a million years. They're going to tell you that they are different from other women and stuff, but every single woman I've ever been with eventually requests some sort of physical abuse in bed. Let me repeat this. Every woman eventually requests some sort of physical abuse during sex. That's right. They will eventually ask you to have some sort of physical activity that involves pain during sex. Sometimes they want choking. Sometimes they want to be pinned down and tossed up against the wall. And every woman in existence loves to be spanked during sex. Every single one of them. And they love the hard spanking too. Almost to the point where it can be considered physical abuse. And it's just not my experiences. I've talked with friends and co-workers and dudes at the bar, and they all backed me up on my observations. They all said women love rough, dominating bedroom shit, right? Rough, dominating men. And that's why they fall for these abusive men. I mean, think about it. How many nice guys are gonna choke out a chicken bed? How many good men are going to spank a chick with authority during sex? How many nice dudes are going to bite a gal in the bedroom? How many beta bucks are going to dominate a chick in the sack? Probably not a whole lot. Most nice guys don't have it in them, but how about bad boys? AKA, abusive men. Well, they have no problem acting out a chick's choking fetish. They love thrusting a chick up against the wall. It's their instinct to dominate a chick, right? I mean, thugs and losers will fight a chick, even leaving marks behind. They don't give a shit. And a bad boy will spank a chick all night long until she's red in the butt. Just like this. And guess what? It leaves chicks begging for more. So the sexually aggressive dominant guy also happens to be the abusive one, too. They dominate during everyday situations, just like they do in the bedroom. I mean, true. It's a little on the dangerous side for chicks, but the sex is so good that women just can't walk away from them. They will tolerate an abusive guy because the abusive guy is so damn dominant in the bedroom. His sex is so good that it outweighs the abuse. Think about it this way. When you get drunk and you drink, the buzz is so good that it outweighs the hangover, right? This is true because if it wasn't, nobody would be drinking booze, nobody would be getting drunk. Abusive in the bedroom also means dominant in the bedroom, which boils down to being good in bed. This is true with all females, they all like this shit. Even though they're never gonna admit it in a million years, they're gonna tell you that they hate jerks and they love nice guys and all that shit but that's all a bunch of bullshit they enjoy every second of an abusive guy a dominant bedroom alpha male so women will stay with abusive men because the dominant alpha male sex is so damn good next time you talk to a gal who's in an abusive relationship ask her how often the two of them have sex if she doesn't get absolutely pissed off, offended, or lie to you, she'll tell you the truth and she'll say about four or five times a day or so. It's because the sex is so damn good that it outweighs the abuse. So there you have it. I laid this one down to rest for good. Period. <laughs>